इंग्लिश से रिलेटेड सभी जानकारियों के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को भी क्लिक करें फॉर मोर इंफॉर्मेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू विथ न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वो कैबलरी वी आर वी आर ऑन ए थर्ड डे सो द की वर्ड टूडेज टूडेज वीडियो इज पॉलिटिक्स Listen carefully. The word politics, the word these words are comes in the way of politics. Be careful. The politics word it, word will not come in this word, these word, but it can be used in pol politics. Clear? What I'm saying is that you can use this these word in the term of politics or in the term of writing essay on politics. Clear? Let's start with the first word. The first word is abdicate. What is the meaning? The underline I have done is that on on that particular alphabet or on that particular sound, you have to give a bigger pitch of your sound. What I'm saying that say like this: abdicate. What is the meaning? What is the pronunciation of this? Abdicate. When you pronounce it, you have to force your force your vocal cord or force your mouth to particular this these word or this a sound. Okay, particular this sound or this word. Clear what I'm saying that when you are going to tell your pronunciation. in this scenario you have to go with a particular word which have a higher pitch clear let's start with the first word abdicate the first word abdicate means to give give up power to give up a power it's mean that suppose you are a king or you are a, a priam or a president of a particular government a particular country and you are going to step down be clear you are going to step down step down means you are quitting that particular job or particular power it means in politics we use abdicate in normal way we we can say that step down step down means that by own will you are you are just uh, back just stepping down yourself to a particular position or particular power in politics we use abdicate abdicate and you have to force your sound a in a word abdicate abdicate like this the word why do you want to abdicate the question mark will be there okay why do you want to abdicate is any problem why why do you want to suppose um, uh, a president want to abdicate his power and uh, his uh, his friend or the minister are saying that why why do you want to abdicate what is the problem is there any any a uh, mental problem what is this so you can use like this or you can say that our suppose you are not happy with your president or uh, king or prime minister or chief minister or chief minister you can say that this chief minister has to abdicate like this okay yeah uh, the current president should have should have abdicated himself like that you can use it in a term of third form or first form because it is a verb you can use it as a verb okay clear second word is agitator how you have to pronounce is agitator a g t a t o r agitator and it is a noun means you can use it as a noun the meaning of it is very very large but you can use it who tries to persuade persuade means who try to convert or who try to enhance enhance the feeling so who tries to persuade people for political protest we know that there is a in every world there is a political protest by a student by a, a common people or by a, a, a opposition party okay so you can use agitator agitator and you have to give up give force of your mouth or your vocal cord to the letter a agitator if you pronounce like this it means you are going in a right way so the word is the sentence can be used as example the agitators are not going from the police station you can use it like this 
the agitators are not going from the police station line okay the third was is cutter how it's pronounced pronounced as cutter the r is approximately silent you you have to use it very 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 uh, we can say very very in a case of very small or we can say that uh, partially you have to use r as a partially i was i was just searching the word partially okay sometimes you puzzle yourself with a word okay so i puzzled with the word partially so cadre how you you have to pronounce you have to pronounce cadre and the fourth sound is ka ka cadre okay and it is a noun the meaning of it is a member of a group of party be clear the group or a party can related to politics not normally there will be a, there will be a group of your group okay there in a college there is a group in a school there is a group or in a old days the old people want make a group of five or six people so the normal group i am not talking about normal group or normal party i am talking about political parties a political group or political parties member can be considered as cadre be clear so the example is she wants to become the cadre of of the new party suppose there is a new party who is, who is starting the its business you can use it like this she wants to join or she wants to become the cadre of the new party clear you know, if you have example like this please mention your example in the comment box please diplomacy the fourth word is diplomacy and you have to force your vocal cord to low low diplomacy this is the way you have to pronounce diplomacy the word is noun means it can be used as subject or object the activity of managing it is a activity listen carefully it is a activity of managing relationship between country okay it is a two meaning it has it has, sorry it has a two meaning this meaning is related to politics and the second meaning is that normally you can use it like this that suppose uh, uh, there's a friend in your uh, in your circles uh, in your friend zone who has a very good common sense or who, who can convince anyone okay suppose the there's a one friend who is not happy with with you and you are said that uh, he is not talking to me and the another uh, friend who has a very good common sense has convinced that that uh, your friend okay had convinced your friend it means that he use his diplomacy be careful diplomacy diplomacy means you can say the cleverness you can say in a common way cleverness but in politics the word have a very deep meaning diplomacy every country has their diplomat diplomacy noun the activity the activity is done by diplomat be clear diplomacy is an activity is an activity which is done by diplomat is it clear to you okay the meaning i am again repeating the activity of managing relationship between countries okay clear normally it happens with between the countries example is that what is the diplomacy of india regarding to china no, i'm 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 very curious i'm very curious that i want to know that what is the diplomacy of india to china regarding to china regarding means in uh, in in the sense of china or uh, toward china you can use toward the last word is mandate and you have to give your you have to give your vocal cord uh, more uh, more practice on a word or a group of word called man date be clear every word every noun or verb has has a sound every in english in english in, in hindi in any language there is a sound which we have to understand be clear what i am saying that be clear what i am saying men that men that there is a two sound by this two these two sound it make mandate mandate and you have to force one of 
what of these two sound and the word is the uh, you have to force your vocal cord to mend mandate what i'm saying that mandate the meaning is that the power of given to people of person by people be clear what i'm saying that it is the these people a person are political parties okay means the power given to political parties by people normally it is done by voting there is an election there is an election and uh, we we gives we gives we give our vote we give our vote by our vote there is as a legislate and by legislate there there is some party or a one party who wins the election and it can be considered as the mandate of the normal people or common people suppose um, suppose a party uh, win the election and it can say that um, it can say to the people that the are uh, we we agree with the mandate of the people you can say like that we agree with the mandate of the people or you can give an example like this the mandate of the people should be respected it's mean very simple and very uh, uh, general that so suppose a, a large people suppose there is an election and 70% of people given a vote to a particular party and 30% who given uh, to a vote to different party or a other party after election they has to give respect to the 70% of voting it's mean they have to give the mandate they have to give the respect to the mandate of the 70% people clear what i'm saying so this example is the simple way you can say that the mandate of the people should be respected be clear i hope so this is the simple scenario this is these are these are the simple word there is a multiple word in politics there is a multiple word you you always hear but these are the some word you normally hear so listen or hear so please after this if if after that if you hear these word please be clear and also use this word in your general or a normal conversation when it talks about politics be clear so through that if you have any problem any any question any query you can ask your core queries in your comment box and you can note this thing by screenshot so i am giving you time of 2 or 3 second please screenshot it and please note it in your notebook and by this be ready for tomorrow tomorrow we will go with another video another vocabulary and another keyword so be happy and be positive with the word and please be practicing this word thank you so much for watching this video please screenshot it